In this example, we're going to show you how to create a personalized calendar that can be customized for individuals in different offices of a global company. So we're going to use our variable data workflow and we're going to select our master. Hit next and then we'll go select our data source. So in our data source, you can see that we have variable text fields here, and we've also got variable images. So I'm gonna switch over to show you the data source that we're using. Um, again, you can see for the uh, text fields, we've just got regular text column headers, but for all of the column headers that contain variable images, we've got these accelerators um, as we call them, to indicate to Freeform Create that images are contained within these fields. So when you see, you can use this tilde and then the slash and then images. So what that is indicating is that in the same directory where Freeform Create located the data source, there is also a subdirectory called images that contains all of the images named in this spreadsheet. And then when I show you that you can see this is the directory where our data source is and then here is the images subfolder um, so we use these so free from create knows where to go look for the images and then each individual image if you use the period slash and then the actual image name again free from create will know that it is looking in the images directory for that specific image So we will go back to the Freeform Create application and click Create. And you can see our master is populated. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So this whole area is what is going to contain variable text and images for each employee. It's essentially the same on the front and back of the master. The rest of this information is static. So we'll go back to the first page and for this file we are going to populate all of the text content first. So let me just zoom in a little. So for this we're going to choose Arial Black and we're going to make it 20 point. I will center this within the text area. So we'll leave some space here because we'll come back and add images. And then what we're going to do is we will add uh, the employee name down here. So we're going to stack our variable fields in the same box. And here we'll just align these the edges to the left here. We're going to stack again, higher month and higher day. And then cube. So before cube, we're going to actually add some descriptive text because we didn't add this in the design but we want to make sure people know that that's the cube number and it's not just some sort of random number. And we will do the vertical distribution here so that everything is aligned and that all looks good. So I'm gonna stop here and save. And then we'll go to the next page and essentially we're going to add the exact same content that we added on the first page for text fields. We're just going to add them in a slightly different location. So here's the office. First and last. Higher month, higher day, and 
Zoom out a little bit so I can see. And then I'm going to add the cube. Again, we're going to add the custom static text there. Equally distribute all of these. Center all these elements together. Use the arrow keys to scoot things over a little bit. And then I'm actually going to move these text fields down a little bit. We'll reorder these a little bit once we get the images in here, but just do some cursory alignment at this point. All right, so we've got our text fields in. Best practice, go ahead and save again. So now we will begin adding our images. So we have uh, images that contain popular calendar dates for each of the different offices. So we will add that here. And then we have a selection of different images, which we're going to create a little collage of in this blank area. So we have two images that are smaller. And then we have one image here that's larger. So I'll get all three of them in here and then I will align them as I like to see them. So I'll zoom in so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. So now I will start resizing my images. So I'm just going to hold down control key here to scale the image proportional to its size. And I'm going to do the same here, but I might have to adjust these a little bit. make them the same. So again, a best practice when working with variable images is before you start programming, make sure your images are sized to the right size that they should be in the final printed document and that they're the proper resolution as well. Um, it's best to do that before you start programming in Freeform Create. So these are actually a little big, so I'm going to just make them a little bit smaller here. There we go, those look about the same. And then align fairly evenly. So I can use my align function again to align. Oops, I have all three of them selected. I want to align these two to the top. And then I want to align these two bottom. Then once I get that straightened out, I can change the alignment of these here. Oops. Use the undo key to scoot back a little bit. Align these top. I 
again, when you're working with images, it might require a little adjusting here and there to get it right. But it's still plenty of time saved that you would by making this a variable document. We'll center these. Line these bottom. Line these top. Move this one over a little bit so that we've got more equal spacing. And those photos are done. So we'll save again, best practice, to make sure we don't lose our work. And we'll go back to page two, where we're actually going to repeat almost exactly the same thing we did on page one. So you can see here we've got a different set of holidays, which we're going to, oops, which we're going to use. So make sure you, I chose the holiday page two. Because this calendar corresponds to the second half of the year, and these are the second half holidays. And then we're going to go use our page two images. And here we've only got two images. We don't have three. So there'll be a little less alignment that's required here. So again, we'll resize our images appropriately. Scoot things over a little bit and just make sure we're aligned. Everything actually looks pretty good there. So now I'm going to zoom back out. <clears throat> and now that I've got my t images in, I'm going to just align my text. There we go back to page one, do the same thing. It's pretty good. Save again. And I notice one more final spacing adjustment that I want to do. Again, the benefit of a visual preview and a visual design, you can make adjustments on the fly before you print anything. And speaking of design, let's go look and see how this looks. All right, so I'll zoom out so we can see the entire calendar. All right, so let's look at the records for the four different offices that we're using. We're using our Sydney, Singapore, New York, and London offices. So we wanna spot check some of these records to make sure everything is appearing correctly. So looking at this London record, we see the right images here. London appears on where it's supposed to for the office. And then we'll spot check a New York record. So you can see again the images change. We've got New York here, the New York holidays. The images change, New York, New York holidays. We'll double check Singapore. That looks correct, the images have changed. There we go, got all that. And then lastly, we will just spot check Sydney. Here we go. Perfect. So now, now that we've double checked that the images look correct, we're just going to do a quick spot check on the text fields to make sure that everything is fitting properly. 
So we'll look at the longest name, which is McLaughlin. That fits. And just for to make sure for visual purposes, we'll check the shortest name. That looks fine too. So this document is ready to save for the final time and send to the Fiery server for production.